Real Politics is a strategy game from the Polish developer JujuB. A quick look at their website shows me that they appear to be more focused on the mobile gaming market, and this game is their first title fully set on PCs, Linux, and Mac. They were very nice to give me an early access to the game to play it before release and to review it. Presently, there is a release date of February 16, but the selling price is still unconfirmed, but with an indicated guess, I'd estimate it to be around or under $30 USD. The release should be within a week or so, so all of that will be clarified soon enough. Now, as any other grand strategy game out there, you start off with the scenario, and at the moment the only scenario available is to start in 2020 with the world at the brinks of a possible total war with Germany and Russia, wrestling for the influence in the political sphere of the European continent. The full version should allow you to pick any country in the world which will hopefully allow more freedom of action, as currently the given task to accomplish force the two power to rattle sabers at each other and ends up pitting them to a war against each other. The politic aspect is the most intriguing part of this game. You'll be able to establish a relationship with foreign nations to either get them in your sphere, also known as a block. The concept is simple as when a country enters your block, they become direct puppets and will follow you blindly until you either annex them or they leave the union due to too low relationships. An important branch in this sphere is also the UN Council. If your government is not totalitarian or authoritarian, you will need to abide by the ruling of the United Nations, but you can also summon many requests to them from basic humanitarian help to poor nation to the permission to fully invade anyone. Once you are in the clear for a full-scale invasion, the military system kicks in. And it is interesting how it is handled here. You have six unit types and you will deploy them against another country and your fellow bloc will follow you to war. Once combat is started, you'll be able to engage in different strategies and tactics and hope of raising your war score. But other than pouring more troops, this is the limit of the system. You keep intermittently sending in orders and calculate your chances of victory or set your troops on defensive posture to fend off any invasion. Also in this game, you are free to use nuclear weapons almost as freely as you wish since there is very little repercussion to this action if you're fighting a non-nuclear power. If your opponent has nukes too, you should expect a fair retribution. But outside of this circumstance, you will never get ganged up for using nukes in moderation. As if nuking in moderation should live and exist. Once you reach 100% war score, you will be able to force a peace conference onto the opponent. And this is nicely done, it will allow you to either liberate occupied countries or annex states and a plethora more option to undermine your enemies. There is also a very in-depth technological tree available to you, but due to the limited amount of time allowed by the demo, I am not able to fully tell you how well it plays out as we're limited to only a few of the very early action to be undertaken. There are plenty of arts to go around in the game from the small drawing all around that are very well made to the loading screen featuring well-known and prominent current political figures playing this very game. On the graphic side, during gameplay, we can see a clear inspiration from the mobile game world, a somewhat deficient level of details and a complete absence of interactivity on the world map is giving an apathetic feeling to the world. We do have a few different map modes offered to grant plenty of information on the provinces, but it stops there. The only real flash of change we'll see throughout the game is whenever a country deploys nuclear armament to attack, or eventually, as the trailer suggests, reach the age of space exploration and move on to brave new worlds, to share the same eternal human conflicts. But sadly, I've been granted a limited version of the game, so I cannot accurately review the later stage of the game at this moment. There's a nice futuristic electro beat taking you throughout the demo, but there is also a lack of variety here. Hopefully, we'll see more fleshed out soundtrack in the official release. Real Politics is an interesting take on grand strategy games set in the near and somewhat distant future, and is somewhat promising too but there are still a few dominoes standing as to how well this game will there ever post-release. I am excited to see how it will turn out nevertheless.
Hopefully you've enjoyed this review and if you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe for more. See you next time.